So this is our example number 3 for axial strain. The rigid bar BC in figure A is supported by the steel rod AC of cross-sectional area of 0.25 inch squared. Find the vertical displacement of 0.6 caused by the 2,000 pounds. Use E is equal to 29 times 10 raised to 6 PSI for steel. And meron tayong cable. Ang cable natin, meron daw cross-sectional area na 0.25 inch squared. So ngayon, ano raw yung displacement? So magkaiba ang displacement sa deformation, okay? Kapag displacement, pinag-uusapan natin dyan is yung delta na ganito. Ayan. Ganyan siya. Or yung y. So iba yung disp uh, displacement sa deformation. Kasi yung dis deformation, sa mismong cross-sectional area or sa shape or dimension ng ating um, structural member. Pero kapag sinabi natin displacement sa mga connection, nadi-displace, okay? Or natanggal, or yes, nadi-dislocate. Parang ganun ang displacement. Okay? So ano daw yung displacement natin na makakuha sa C? Okay, kasi apply natin ito ng ano, 2,000 pounds. So mangyari, si BC, gaganto siya. Okay, bababa siya na pag ganyan. Tama ba? Pero kailangan natin muna malaman kung ano yung meron na actual force sa ating cable. Kasi ang ating cable, kapag inapply natin ito ng 2,000 pounds, bababa siya, yung cable natin may hila. Okay, ibig sabihin yung ating cable mag-e-elongate. So, damit na lang tayo ng damit na lang tayo ng method of joints. Ayan. Pupunin so, natin ito. Ayan. So, ngayon, ito yung ating eh, ating PC. Ito yung ating cable. Ayan. So, syempre, tensile ito. Sabi natin ito ay AC. Ayan. So, ito naman yung BC. So, obvious naman yung ating BC is compressive kasi kailangan natin maano to, ma-resist yung tension dito. Ayan. Yan. So, anong slope natin dito? Okay, so wala tayong slope, pero meron naman tayong, okay, uh, angle, 40 degrees. Okay, so, uh, ang ibig sabihin ko sa slope is yung ano, vertical and horizontal slope. So, meron tayong angle na given dito, or rotation. Yan. So, okay. Hindi naman natin kailangang isolve yung BC. Hindi rin natin siya basta-basta masasolve gamit yung summation of forces horizontal. Kailangan lang natin dito is yung AC. Which is, agad natin ma-solve sa emission of forces vertical. Okay? Kasi isa lang siya na vertical force na unknown. Okay? So, mag-summation of forces vertical na lang tayo. Summation of forces vertical is equal to zero upward is positive. So, AC okay, multiplied by sine of 40 degrees minus 2000 is equal to zero. So, AC is equals to 2,000 divided by ganyan, sine of 40. Ayan. So, 311.448. So, 311.448 pounds. Ito yung ating AC. Nagagamitin natin para sa well, so the formation ng ating cable AC. Solve natin yung deformation AC equals to PL over AE. Ang ating P is yung nakuha natin na tensile load na 3111.448. So, 3111.448. So, this is pounds. Okay? Then, L. Ang L natin is, okay, ito. Wala tayong L na given. Pero, meron naman tayong given na uh, length ng ating BC. So, kunin na natin yung L. So, ito yun, yung L natin. Okay? So, paano makukuha yung L? This is adjacent to 40 and this is hypotenuse, okay? So, ibig sabihin, cosine. Cosine of 40 degrees is equal to adjacent na 8 feet over L. Therefore, L is equals to ganito. So, 8 over cosine of 40. Ating L is 10.443. So, 10.443. 3. Fit to. Okay, so, so 10.443 Then, multiply natin ng 12 para maging inches. 
by over area. Ang area natin is 0.25. Ating E, 29 times 10 raised to 6. So, ngayon, ang ating deformation from A to C, tensile to eh, so positive, mag elongate siya. So, 3111.448 multiplied by 10.443 multiplied by 12 over 0.25 multiplied by 29 times 10 raised to 6 Again. so 0 0.054 so 0 0.054 inches or inch pala, sorry yan, so ngayon, ano mangyayari doon sa ating uh, C kasi rito Bababa ito eh. Bababa yung ating BC. So, ganito yung mangyayari. Ayan. I mean, ano, uh, bababa yung C, yung point C. Ayan. Bumaba siya rito. Ngayon, may hila to. Okay, may hila yung ating uh, cable. Ayan. May hila yung ating cable. siya. May hila siya rito. Ayan. Okay? Pag ganyan ang nangyari dyan. So, ngayon, ito yung ating original na cable. Ito yung ating point C. Then, ito na yung ating uh, na-displace na point C. Sabi natin uh, C prime. Ayan. So, ngayon, ito yung displacement. yung displacement natin. So, sabihin natin ito ay YC. Displacement YC. Tapos, yung ating cable, nag-elongate yan. Okay? Humaba yan eh. Tama ba? Nag-elongate siya na pa ganyan. Okay? So, ito na yung ating elongation AC. So, tuwa pa tayo dito ng isang time para gumawa tayo ng triangle. Ayan. So, meron tayong triangle dito na uh, deformation AC tas YC. Ha? Uh, Hype. Okay, di pa tayo sure kung ano tong klaseng triangle. Okay? Then, meron tayo dito na 40 degrees. So, ito yung BC natin. Okay? Yan. So, ito nyan is 40 degrees. Yan. Ngayon, since sobrang liit lang naman nito, okay, sobrang liit lang naman ang deformation natin at displacement, ang ginagawa nila dito, ina-assume natin na okay, ina-assume natin na ito raw is perpendicular. Ayan. Perpendicular. Ang perpendicular to, 90 degrees. Ibig sabihin, ito rin daw is perpendicular. Okay? So, kunin natin yung mga angle. Ibig sabihin, ito nyan, yung triangle na nagawa natin dito is right triangle pala. Kasi sobrang liit lang eh. Okay? Sobrang liit lang niya. Ngayon, kung ito ay 40 degrees, ito ay ano, 90 degrees, makuha natin to. Ibang kulay na lang. So, ito raw is maliwanag. Ayan. Ito raw is 90 degrees minus 40. So, this is 50 degrees. So, ano rin ba to? Yung ating sa YC and sa horizontal um, axis, ito rin is also 90 degrees. So, makukuha natin ito. So, 90 degrees minus 50, this is 40 degrees. Okay. So, 40 degrees din to. Okay. Eh, yung ating relationship rin dito. Itong brown na to. Tapos yung sa ating deformation na AC. Ito rin is 90 degrees. Tama ba? Kung 90 degrees to, 90 minus 40, this is also equals to 50 degrees. So, 90 minus 40, ito nyan is 40 degrees. Yan. Ayusin natin yung triangle natin. So, ito nyan is yung deformation AC. Ito yung ating placement C. Tapos, ito yung ating 40 degrees. Yan. Ngayon, ano ang relationship ng ating deformation kay 40 degrees? This is opposite. And yung ating namang YC is yung ating hypotenuse. Yan. So, kung ano yun, opposite, so sine. So, sine of 40 degrees 
equals to deformation AC over displacement C. Therefore, ating displacement at C is equal to deformation AC over sine of 40 degrees. Kaya yung ating YC is equals to naman deformation natin. Okay, so 0.054 inch over sine of 40 degrees. Therefore, ang ating deformation at sorry, displacement at C equivalent to 0.054 over sine of 40 degrees. Okay, so 0 0.084. So 0 0.084 inch. Yung ating displacement at C. So kung napansin niyo downward yan. Pababa yung ating deformation. Okay? So downward. Pababa. May possible naman na maging pataas yan. Okay? So ito yung ating deform, uh, displacement. Sa ating example number Okay, so this is our example number 3 for chapter 2, actual strain. And ang kasunod na nating topic sa chapter 2 is yung ating shear strain. Okay?